Hello, guys. Can you speak English fluently? In the comments below, tell our viewers how did you improve your speaking English? When you speak English, do you translate in your language and then speak? I had the same problem when I was learning to speak Turkish and I hated it. So I will give you some tips I used to improve my fluency in Turkish and you can also give us some tips you used to improve uh, whichever languages you can speak. So let's begin. I will tell you something you can do every day to improve your fluency and when you are learning how can you learn new words or how can you learn English to not translate in your mother tongue and then speak in English. So let's begin with this. Many things around you. So for example, you wake up in the morning, look around you and say um, pillow, shoes, uh, cup, uh, food, <coughs> uh, water. So when you go around the bed, for example, you go to work, you can say a bus, a woman, a cat, and just say everything in English. To improve this, if you can say everything around you in English, try to say sentences. For example, I want to go to the bank. I want to drink water. I need to buy some groceries. So try to use words to explain what you want to do or what you are doing during the day. And after you've named the things around you and you have used sentences to explain what you are doing, uh, what you plan to do later, you can try to have scenarios in your head. I think everyone talks to themselves. Do you talk to yourself? Try to talk to yourself in English. For example, you can think I am going to the market. What will I say? Try to make a conversation with someone, the other person. What will they say to you? What will you answer? So you make scenarios in your head. For example, I am going to the dentist. What will I say? Hello. My tooth is aching or I have a problem with my tooth. If what will the doctor say? Hello, uh, what is your problem? How can I help you? Something like this. So try to participate, uh, try to think of conversation from two sides. Or, for example, try to make plans with your friend in your head. For example, hello, how are you? Uh, let's go to the cinema this weekend. Mm, no, sorry, I am busy this weekend. Okay, um, next Wednesday, is it okay for you? No, next Wednesday I have to go see a friend, maybe on Saturday. So you make conversations from two sides. This person says something and this person says something in your head. Or you can practice in the mirror. You look at yourself and speak. This helps you to find out what things you cannot say, for example, 
can we do? Uh, can we do this? Can you ask questions? Can you etc? So try to do this every day. Learn things around you and make scenarios in your head every day. So besides this, what else should you do when you are learning English? Number three, don't use bilingual dictionary. For example, what is bilingual dictionary? Bilingual dictionary, bi means two, and lingual, it means language. So two languages. If a dictionary uses two languages, try to not use it because it, you cannot learn how to explain things. For example, if you check in the dictionary, uh, for example, answer. The, if, for example, you speak Turkish, it will say devaplamak. But you don't know how to use this. It means every time you want to remember a word, first you will remember the Turkish word and then <coughs> translate to English. So you don't want this to happen, like translating from one language to another. If you use, uh, for example, you go to Google and write um, answer, meaning it will show you the meaning of this, it will explain it in English. It means you will look for something and get an explanation in English. And when you do this, your fluency, your thinking in one language and answering in another language will change, will reduce. Next one, learn vocabulary and phrases. For example, if you only learn answer, it's good, but try to learn in a phrase. For example, give an answer means you will say I will give an answer because you learn how to use this in a phrase so you learn quicker and you will not think of answer answer say answer tell answer you will not say this you will say give an answer because it's how you learn so make sure you learn in phrases not word for word number five Try to answer in details now. For example, you have a friend, a teacher, they speak to you in English. Don't give one answer, one word answer. For example, they ask, do you, um, what do you do on the weekends? Don't say nothing. This is okay. But to learn how to speak, you have to speak. You must speak. So if they ask, what do you do on the weekend? You can say, mm, I don't do much. Or you can say, I don't do many things. I usually just sleep at home. Sometimes I watch movies. Mm, for example, last weekend I watched this movie. I liked the movie, it was good. So I didn't give one answer, I explained, I gave an example to, of the movie I watched. So thank you so much for listening. I hope. This was how